So much of our pursuit of pleasure is simply to reduce the pain of craving. People always talk about just as pleasure. You love social media, so it gives you dopamine, and so you engage in that. You like chocolate, it releases dopamine, so you do that. But for every bit of dopamine that's released, there's another circuit in the brain that creates, you can think of it as kind of like a downward deflection in pleasure. So you engage in something you really want, and there's an increase in pleasure. And then there's a, without you doing anything, there's a mirror image of that, which is a downward deflection in pleasure, which we're calling pain. So for every bit of pleasure, there is a mirror image experience of pain and they overlap in time very closely. So much of our pursuit of pleasure is simply to reduce the pain of craving. So the next time you experience something you really like, I don't want to take you out of that experience, but it's really important that you notice this, that if there's something you really enjoy, part of that enjoyment is about the anticipation and wanting of more of that thing. And that's the pain system in action. And so we can distinguish between dopamine, which is really about pleasure, and dopamine, which is really about motivation to pursue more in order to relieve or exclude future pain. Dopamine isn't as much about pleasure as much as it is about motivation and desire to pursue more in order to reduce the amount of pain.